All right. Um, how do I start this? There's a lot happening in my life right now and I'm starting to feel the pressure of pretty much being done with school. It's year 12 now and there's a lot of things I wanna do. I'm, I've been inspired by a lot of things and a lot of people and there's a lot that I wanna do, especially in this next year, but then also in the future as well, leading on from that. But right now I'm stuck in a bit of a loop. I can't really focus on anything. I'm just constantly distracted, feeling like shit. Um, and that's mainly because I'm being lazy. I'll wake up, I'll go on my phone, and I'll let the day go by, and then at the end of the day, I'll go, oh, poor me, should have done this, should have done that. And I wanna stop that. I wanna get out of that habit and start living a bit better. And I also wanna take this YouTube channel to a different place. You can probably see I changed the channel name to Fears and Failure. It's a little bit cringy, but I did that because I've kind of realized money isn't the end goal anymore. I used to think that everything would be all right if I just got heaps of money, and I've realized that's not the case at all. And what I actually want to do is be free, free to make all the choices that I want to and be where I want, with who I want, whenever I want. And I think money money will help me get there, but the ultimate goal is to be completely fearless, to conquer all of those fears that I have, because there's a lot. I, I think I'm scared of a lot of things, and one of those things is commitment and being judged by other people which is why I struggle to upload a lot because I'll have these ideas and I'll go, that's a really good idea, I think I could do that, but people will judge me for it and I need to start facing that and overcoming that fear. But fears and one of the ways that I'm gonna overcome those fears is by failing, so fears and failure. But I want to take this channel to a new level. I like the vlog style that I've done a couple times. And I kind of want it to be a bit more fun. And also a bit more personal as well. And the channel. And then obviously there's a lot of other stuff that needs to get done this year that I really want to do. Back to it. It's been it's a busy time right now, as I said. I'm about to move house, and I was supposed to be doing a house series, which I'm going to still do. I think I'll have two more episodes of that. But I'm delaying that, and I'm procrastinating for whatever fucking reason. And then we're moving house. It's the 17th today. We're moving house in pretty much a week and a bit. It'll be, yeah, we get the keys next Wednesday. So exa in exactly a week. And then we're moved. And that's gonna be big. Year 12 starts very soon. Um, and last year I struggled a bit. There was a time, a time where I had to really get work done and I didn't and I kept delaying it. I did finally get it done in the end, but I was struggling so hard with procrastinating and not getting anything done. So I've got to fix that this year so that I get good enough grades. And I also want to start planning for life after school with traveling and the business that I'm trying to start. So right now the business is just absolutely flunking because I haven't put any work into it for weeks. But I need to rethink how I want to go about that and what I'm going to do with it. 
and yeah one thing that kind of ties into all of that sort of stuff is the brand so one of my um kind of role models in a way alex hormozzi talks a lot about building a brand so a brand if i could say that hang on a brand is what the influence that a brand has on people can be positive or negative like when nike had that thing about sweat shop stuff oh, fuck um like if if gucci put their brand on a plain t-shirt it makes it worth more so i need to so as you you've probably seen heaps of influencers are working on their personal brand now so like iman gutsy Hamza, Alex Hormozzi, whatever, all those people, instead of actually building businesses, um, they're working on their personal brand and giving you all this bullshit advice on how to start a business and do this, do that, whatever, when they're actually really just trying to gain a following and keep a positive brand. So that's something that I want to look into and I want to make positive association. So I want to make this channel about myself, so my interests, my hobbies, what I like about the world, facing fears, whatever, and that is going to become my brand. I don't know if this is making any sense, but yeah, that's kind of the plans for the future. I also want to be upfront about a failure that I've had recently. I was going to do a 30 day monk mode and I was supposed to still be in it at the moment and I did, I started it on the 26th day after Christmas and I failed right after New Year's, on New Year's day pretty much. And I was gonna make the, the video here on YouTube. I was supposed to be uploading every day to TikTok and Instagram and doing a bunch of other stuff and I didn't go through with it and I failed. And there's nothing that I can blame, really. It was just a lack of discipline and focus. And I'm disappointed. But I will do a monk mode in the future. And, yeah. I think that's a, that's a wrap.